Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody, a young lady is trying to put this B. They're both interactive field tools. She can't get it to work. Well, what it is, is this is on top. All you have to do is go to object and order and put it to the back of the page and voila, you've got that B in there. Now there's another way to do it. So let's put this thing back to the front of the page. And one thing you can do, let's check our nudge distance. Let's move this, tell you what, let's put this there and then nudge one out of the way. You could control D and make a duplicate and move that over. And then and this is what she was doing. She was telling me it turns white. She was using front minus back. Well, that only gives it away right there. And then you could take your B and just move it over. So now they're kind of on the same layer. Because no matter what you do to this object, in order, you can put it at the back of the page, it doesn't move, because this B really isn't there, it's in a hole. I would suggest if I was gonna do something like that, I'd turn the outline to a bigger outline and actually make it white, just kind of make that letter show off. Uh, maybe even make it, you know, I'm gonna make it 12 points just for the video. That to me is kind of distinguishes between the two, um, interactive field tools. Anyway, I hope that helped them. That was a pretty easy one, and thank you for watching.